is up YouTube this is black bigot coming to you live from a location unknown somewhere in the great state of Texas I'm on my way to the store right now I'm gonna go get a bottle of hooch but before I get there I wanted to talk about really quickly uh, it's all over the news all over the internet the uh, this song the rap song that Eminem made uh, against Donald Trump uh, I just listened to it about 30 minutes ago and first and foremost, I just want to say really quickly, I've never really been a big fan of Eminem. Uh, I never really understood him. I'm not really a big rap fan, but I never got Eminem. Uh, he's like a pop star. He's like Mr. Madonna. Never did understand him. As a matter of fact, uh, I don't think a lot of I don't think a lot of black people really uh, really listen to Eminem, if any at all. Uh, Eminem's mainly for like white kids that lived in a suburb that hate their parents. Now I'm sure some black people out there listen to Eminem, you know, but they're the weird black guys. They're like the ones that, you know, they wear their pants up way to their chest. They wear like pocket protectors. They have full-time jobs. They take care of their kids. You know, weirdos like that. So I'm listening to this song and it was better for me to like kind of write my points down before I made this video, but you know me, I just I hit the record button and whatever I say is whatever I say. But I, I, I like the, the few parts of the song that I want to kind of point out really quickly. Which is, um, first and foremost, Eminem, listen. Uh, this guy, uh, he's kind of out of touch with working people. You're a multi, multi, multi millionaire. I think you're worth about $200 million. You don't identify with working stiffs working folks such as myself I wash dishes you know what I mean I got a crap job whatever but you just don't identify with people like us uh, you're part of the uh, globalist elitist uh, demon democratic weirdo nutcases you know that's who you belong with that's fine you know you do what you do I mean it, it's funny how he's coming up with this little trendy song this stupid little song a month before an album comes out of his, a brand new album, and he he needs to get a little bit of a you know buzz going, so he's getting his name out there. So he's pretty smart for doing that. But I don't think people really uh, are in touch with a <laughs> a middle aged, mid forty white rapper. I think I think you're gone. You know what I mean? You're kind of old now. I don't think anyone's really who the hell listens to Eminem. I mean, he's he's pretty irrelevant nowadays. Much like most uh, Hollywood actors and actresses, when they open their mouths about Trump. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant Hollywood actors because an actor could be a woman too. Women are actors, so I, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to be. Uh, uh, I, I don't mean to be racist or gender, anti-gender woman or whatever newfangled crap uh, word they come out with now. Uh, you know, it's just a desperate attempt for attention. That's all it was to me. It was a horrible song. I loved how he had a... Uh, as many years as he's been out, he still needs to... Uh, to uh, he, he still feels the need uh, to let people know that he still has street cred. So he has like a bunch of black guys behind him and he's in some uh, parking garage uh, somewhere in... Uh, I don't know where the hell he's at. But, um, you know, he's from Detroit. You're from a very economically depressed city and Donald Trump has you know said or he's promised that he's gonna make Detroit uh, the crown jewel of his rebuilding of the inner city you should be kind of on his side I mean don't you want to see your city rebuilt I mean I've never been to Detroit but from what I've heard it's a piece of garbage city or town I apologize if you're from Detroit or if you live there but for you know for all I've heard it's a pretty crappy it's a pretty crappy city also, he said something about Donald Trump wanting to, you know, start a nuclear holocaust or nuclear war. Um, I don't think Trump has really started any wars quite yet, uh, but, uh, you know, hey, in uh, Obama's last year, 2016, not a lot of people talk about it. He was doing quite a bit of bombing. Quite a bit of bombing, and I was all for it. That's the only thing about Obama that I liked. He was bombing, bombing the crap out of the Muslims. You know, the terrorists. I don't, I don't want all Muslims to be bombed. You know, just a terrorist Muslim. You know, just the crazy ones that want me to die. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, also, a uh, really quick one to point out in the video. Um, 
you uh, raised up a black power fist for uh, Colin Kaepernick. Oh, this Colin Kaepernick stuff needs to stop already. I mean, people, can we just can we just stop and and, and realize really quick? Uh, Colin Kaepernick only did that whole uh, "I'm oppressed, my people are oppressed" because he got hurt. I mean, if you look at a, a physical comparison of him now and back before when he was playing in the Super Bowl, he's uh, he lost about a good 35, 40% of his size. And uh, as a quarterback, he relied uh, a, quite, a, quite a bit on his, uh, on his speed and agility. And since he lost that after his back injury, he became a former shell of himself. Now, gr- granted, he was still a, a, a pretty serviceable quarterback. I wouldn't call him a starting quarterback, but I'm sure, I, I, you know, I'm probably if I sit and just realize, there's probably about two or three teams he might be able to start for. And and don't get me wrong, um, he is good enough to be a quarterback in the NFL. The, probably why, the reason why he doesn't have a job is because he'll be a total distraction. You can't have him on your team. By the way, guys, this man has signed... Uh, in guaranteed contracts, I don't know what he's made after taxes and, and what have you, but he's he's signed a, well over a hundred million dollars in guaranteed contracts. So let's not uh, feel sorry for Colin Kaepernick. Let's let's smash on the brakes, okay? This guy uh, grew up with a white family. Uh, I don't think he even seen a black person until he was in high school, okay? And all of a sudden now he's pro black. Um, Mr. Kaepernick, uh, where were you pro black when you were at the Super Bowl when you were crying during the playing of the national anthem? Now you're you know, resting a knee. Hey, I support the players. If you want to protest, go ahead. Rest on the knee. Sit on your butt. Uh, do a handstand. Break dance. Uh, do the running man. Whatever it is that you want to do. Uh, with that being said, uh, last but not least, Eminem uh, gave a big F you uh, to uh, a lot of his fan base. He pretty much told them, uh, if you're a Donald Trump supporter, F off. Well, Mr. Uh, Mr. Eminem, Mr. Madonna, I got something to tell you. A lot of your fans voted for Donald Trump. And I loved how you patronized uh, a lot of Americans with your little Southern accent. Well, you know what? A lot of those guys, they voted for Trump. They're Trump supporters. And a lot of them are working class Joes and you got a lot of illegal immigrants who come into this country and lower and depress wages. I mean, the, the argument can, can come on both sides. Americans don't want to work. Americans don't want to do those jobs. Well, you know what? They would do those jobs if the pay were a little bit higher. You know, you, you can't be a pimp and a prostitute too. You know what I mean? So congratulations to Eminem. You got your name out there. You got an album coming out. You're just a fake, globalist, elitist scumbag. That's all you are. If anyone listens to Eminem, you're a scumbag just like him. And how can you be uh, holier than thou when in your music you glorify rape, you talk about wanting to kill your ex-girlfriend, and talk about your rapid drug use? I don't know. I'm just saying... Again, you can't be a pimp and a prostitute, too. With that being said, I'm about to walk into this liquor store and get a bottle of E&J, because I got a drinking problem. Anyways, I am Black Bigot. Please subscribe to my channel. These guys are really loud. I don't think I cussed at all during this video. This feels kind of good. I, I think I might uh, go with this non-cussing thing. Yeah, fuck it.